WSU does have a physical veterans memorial, but it's in a very quiet part of campus. When I ask my students or my colleagues, hardly anyone has ever been there. So that's the great thing about the digital project that we're doing with Fallen Cougars, is that we're gonna provide the life stories of each one of these war dead to build a live connection between the present Washington State community and the servicemen who enlisted from Washington State College in the 1940s and fought and died in the Second World War. We want to honor them and respect their legacy and make their lives present again in the 21st century. So when the students start working on fallen cougars, uh, we give them a list of names to choose from. And usually they find a soldier or an airman or a sailor that speaks to them. One of the stories I can tell you is um, Cecil Welchko. Uh, he was a star running back here and was deployed to the Philippines. They were just attacked immediately. They had no idea the, the attack was coming. Even though it wasn't part of his job, he jumped on with the infantry and helped everybody escape to the fortress on the backside of the island. When I talk about sacrifice and dedication, I mean, how many people really have that in them? I think what surprised me was that all of these guys very willingly gave up everything. They didn't even graduate. A lot of them left wives. A lot of them even left kids behind. But for them, it always just seemed that duty was the most important thing. There are moments of tedium, but moments of discovery that bring absolute joy, both professionally and personally. There are times where I finish a biography and I'm overwhelmed with emotion, but with pride as well. When the students make the discoveries and when they tell me about it, uh, that, that is what I actually work for as an educator. I really like that we get to look at the lives of these guys that gave their lives, and it kind of brings it back and brings us closer together. There's always a surprise, and that's the nature of research. The, the enthusiasm of the students who do it has really been the driving force behind this, because for them, uh, for many of them, it's the first time that they've done this sort of research. And now it's live. It's so good to see everyone here. It's a day which um, we were pointing towards for four years. I think this project really shows the, the power of historical research and the ability to uncover stories and facts and details that were otherwise hidden or forgotten. If you change the fashions and taught them what a cell phone was, I am convinced that the fallen cougars would, would identify with present day Washington State University students and they'd be recognizable by our students today. And that is the whole purpose of this project. That's one of the intangibles, which I hadn't realized would happen at the start, the sense of, of relationship that the students feel. So they're not just doing it so that more people can learn about it. The students actually make a friend, in a sense. If I could talk to my soldiers today, the first thing that I would say to them is thank you. But I would also say, I admire you. I respect you. I have the privilege of getting to know you through what you've left behind. And that makes me a better historian as well as a person. <laughs>